backwards, forwards. I'm gonna try to spin. Nope. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Leg Robotics. Yeah, today's robot, it kind of came by an accident. Um, I looked, and I'll leave you the link to the building instructions for this. I wanted to build a track type robot. But the weird thing was, is I only had three sprockets. And I was like, man, I was, I was supposed to have two on both sides and then put track on both sides. So luckily I had some extra tires. These are expansion tires. So I thought, what the heck? Why not just make some type of four wheel tank looking thing? So today's video, what I wanna do is just show you this guy, but more importantly, just show you, a lot of you have asked me, how do I remote control my robot? And it shocked me that the Commander app is no longer available because it's still on my phone and I can still control this robot with it. So today what I want to do is just show you how I control my robot. I apologize if you're not able to get the Commander app because it's the quickest and easiest way to connect. And I, I think it's the easiest way to control these robots. Um, and then also to show you what this guy looks like. So let's go to it. Like I said, I'll leave you the instructions down in the description for this robot. But this was the easiest robot to make. If you want to build some type of, and you know, if you have four wheels, if you have at least 52 tank track, um, you can make this robot. Um, if you put the four wheels, you'll, you're going to see in a second how it doesn't turn very good because it doesn't have that third point of contact. Um, but if you just want it to go forward, backwards be able to run over stuff with these monster wheels look at those guys um, this is a really cool robot if you just want to test out something for forward and backwards this is a very quick and easy build and so you just need your two large motors um, look how easy that was just a b and c whoops right there b and c motors and so it's just fun to kind of drive around if you're just going to do a forward and backwards but if you want that third point so you can do spins and things like that and turn easier we'll have to figure out a way to get that ball bearing back here but this is cool let's now talk about the commander app so for this commander app i've had this since 2015 i believe and it was it was mainly for doing different robots you're going to see them in a second everstorm uh the reptar Whoops, I guess I hit something different there. Hold on, let me go back. Um, the Gripper. Uh, you can create and command your own robot. Theirs would be for the controlling of your forward and backwards and turns. And this would be for like a, um, a secondary motor. Or, um, you know, if you wanted to add some type of attachment motor, that's what that would be for. What's really cool about this one is you can use this um, left and right, like just with a tilt, forwards and backwards. That's a pretty cool feature. So I apologize for those of you that are not able to download the Commander app because this was really cool. This is how my students would play soccer. Um, they would control their robots to do different uh, missions. Um, we did a bomb disposal robot one time using this Commander app. Um, so this is a really cool app. I wish it was still available to everybody. Um, I wish I could sell this for $100. Just kidding. Um, it's just some, it's something that was really fun for my students to be able to do. Class, we would do sumo bot, um, like matches with uh, remote control. So I don't know. I guess when Mindstorms retired i guess they said hey we're just not gonna make the app available to anybody luckily i still have it on my phone and nothing better happen to my phone because i don't want to lose this i'm always able to control this bot with it so let's go ahead and put the commander onto this bot and just show you what it can do so all i do is i open it up and i will not be wanting any of these robots. I'm gonna create and command my own robot. And then all I do is hit one of these plus signs. I determine which motor I want it to do. Now this one will be both the B and C. So I'll just 
So that will control the BNC motors on the robot that I have. That's all I need. If I wanted to control any other motor, I would just tap another plus sign and be able to control another motor. But this is all I need. So let's go ahead and control this robot. So here we go. Forward, turn to the right. Now I have four tires on here, so it doesn't spin as easily as with the ball bearing. But that's all I'm doing. Backwards, forwards. I'm gonna try to spin. Nope. Okay, guys, so there you go. The Commander app. I don't know how we're going to be able to get that into your hands. Um, it's just weird. Um, the tank bot or, you know, something that uh, tank track bot was really cool. Check out again the description for those building instructions. Um, glad you guys are still watching. Glad you're still out there. I apologize again for the frustration with trying to remote control your EV3 robot and not being able to do that. It's just something that adds a new element to those of you that teach robotics is to be able to have your students be able to use that remote control. I know it's all about programming, but it's a fun thing to be able to allow students the ability to control their creations because sometimes you just want them to be able to do that to go along with their programming. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and subscribing and commenting. I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out.